Hi, and thank you for watching us here at Tax Talk UK, where we talk about all things tax and consider other important aspects of working for yourself, being self-employed, running a small business. So today, as part of our Bite Size series, helping you to get to grips with your free agent software, we're going to talk about the tax timeline feature and explain some things on there. Before I do, if you are new here, please do take a moment to subscribe to our YouTube channel. That way you'll easily be able to refer back to this information if you should need to, as well as being able to find other information that we have on a whole host of different topics, all aimed at supporting you in your self-employment. If you navigate to the playlist section of our YouTube channel and look for the free agent guidance playlist, there you will find the rest of the bite-sized videos that we have available, all helping you to make the, get the full use um, and make the most of your free agent software. So back then to the tax timeline um, feature. So we've had um, a few questions on this um, recently. Um, so I thought that we would just run through how it works. Um, just, just an overview to help you understand the information that you're being presented with. So I'm just going to pop into the demo um, version of the software and show you what I'm talking about. So here we are in the um, demo, demo version um, dashboard. If we scroll down to the um, to the to the bottom, you can see that it's defaulted to show us our um, our current profit and loss. But if you look on the tab next to that and click tax timeline, here here we um, see a summary of upcoming tax events, um, potential liabilities um, in date order. So this will only show you the tax liabilities that are relevant for your particular um, setup. So if you're not VAT registered, you wouldn't see anything showing um, VAT returns. Um, if you are a sole trader, you wouldn't see anything about um, corporation tax. Um, so so the, the, the thing that's important is that this is a guide. Um, the actual liability will be dictated from what is submitted to um, HMRC. And um, this is, um, as I mentioned, a guide. And it's, it's, it's a feature that's there to help you to plan ahead to make sure that you have no, um, no sort of surprises with a liability or that you don't overlook um, any, any deadline. So let's just have a quick look in the VAT return. So you can see in this um, in this in this license that we have a um, an entity that is VAT registered, and the next forthcoming um, items are actually the VAT um, returns. So you can see that for each VAT um, period, we have a um, a prompt that the um, that the submissions due and also that the payments due and in this um, in the in the case of VAT then the the dates are the same um, but they're still shown separately because of course once you've submitted it you still need to pay it or if you do end up paying before you've submitted it you still need to remember to submit it so it's it's handy that those are shown separately in the in the timeline. And like everything with the um, with the tax timeline, anything that is highlighted blue, you can actually click into to drill down for. So that will actually show you where the information's come from, why it thinks that this is the liability, and how it's um, how it's come to that, how the software's come to that um, that that prediction. So here you can see a draft VAT return. And this is where the information is um, coming from for that predicted liability in the tax timeline. If we scroll down a little bit um, further, we can see um, here we can see the um, scenario where the um, where some of the things are different. So we have the date that the um, the accounts are due to company's house. So this is um, in the um, scenario of a micro entity. Again, if you are a sole trader, you won't see this because it's not relevant for you. 
Um, and again, it will tell you what the um, estimated liability is. The thing that's always important with whatever tax you're looking at, whichever one is relevant to you, that that free agent can only predict predict based on what is already entered into the software. So if you know I've still got X amount of invoices to raise and that's going to be X amount of income to go on or I still have um, some purchase invoices to come for that period and you haven't entered them into free agent, then um, it's obvious when you realize, but of course um, it's not, uh, it is easy to overlook and, and, to, and to not actually think if the information's not been entered yet, then it's not going to be included in this prediction. And again, we can click on the, um, the blue and we can see the tax calculation here for the micro entity company. So it's telling us how it has arrived at the um, taxable, um, the taxable profit, the profit that's um, chargeable to corporation tax and how it's actually uh, 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 um, arrived at those figures for the liability. So then finally, let's um, scroll down and we will have a quick look at the income tax. So if you're a sole trader and you're not registered for VAT, then these are the only ones that you are going to see. Now, in this scenario, in this prediction, you'll see that um, the balancing payment, there's no um, balancing payment due and therefore there's no payment on accounts due. So there's nothing in the tax timeline to indicate that if there was a payment on account due, then that would also be in your tax timeline. So bearing in mind that this license is for a, um, a micro entity company, so we're not going to see as much information. We wouldn't expect to see as much information in the um, income tax um, return. Um, but if you're a sole trader, the um, the the actual principle of um, what I'm showing you still would be the same. So you would click on your um, on your balancing payment, and we can scroll down here to your tax breakdown on the right hand side. And if we scroll down, we can see this is um, the, this is where it's come to the prediction. So in this particular license. Um, because it's a micro entity, it's just pulled through any dividends that have been declared within the free agent software. And then you can see the um, tax calculation. Um, uh, and obviously, because there's no income, there is no um, there is no tax due. Um, and you can see at the bottom the payments on account. And because they're zero, there's nothing in the um, in the tax timeline. If we had a figure there. They would, um, they would be in the tax timeline. The important thing, as I say, to remember is if information isn't in free agent, it won't, um, it won't be able to include that in the calculation. So, for example, if you had um, some some other source of income, perhaps some PAYE income um, from a different um, a different business. Um, or from an employer or maybe pension or landlord income, any anything that's not included in um, in the free agent license that you're that you're navigating from, of course, it's not going to include that money. And so therefore, these are reasons why your tax calculation and the prediction may be um, different to what you are expecting. So hopefully that helps you to understand a little bit on the principles of the tax timeline, how it's there um, to remind you of um, both submission and payment deadlines, um, that it's really important to understand and to remember that if something's not been entered in free agent, then it's not going to be included um, in that calculation. Um, so it's important um, to, to, to sort of have that overall um, that overall um, reminder in your mind. And another thing to say that can cause um, some confusion is if that you have made payments on account. So we're now in um, just on that tax timeline that we just looked at, we were looking at income tax 
for um, personal tax returns for 23, um, 24. If you have made payments on account towards that year, they won't be included because the only information that's going to be included in that tax calculation um, is, is what has pulled through from the free agent software. So it may be that at the end of the year, you're able to bring that other income into the free agent um, software and submit your return from there, or perhaps you export your um, profit and loss and submit your tax return in a different way. Um, but as I say, that is the important thing that is an estimate that the actual liability will come from what is submitted um, to HMRC. Um, so it's important that you do understand where the figures are coming from. If they're not what you expect, that you have a look at, um, at what doesn't look quite right on the on the tax breakdown. So hopefully this um, helps you. And um, as I mentioned earlier, if you navigate to the playlist section, you can see other bite-sized videos helping you to um, use and get the most out of your free agent software. And if you find the information useful, please do like the video. Thank you. Goodbye.